This is Ozzy Griffin doing a response to the Bad Cop 69 on Consciousness. You've hit the jackpot, mate, because Consciousness happens to be a really uh, big topic for me. Uh, I've studied it, I, I'm an avid listener to Truth Frequency, uh, I, they make it a regular part of their broadcasts. Uh, now, as far as Consciousness goes, I'll try and give you, I'll try and really do it fast. You're watching a video right now on YouTube. Uh, you're usually not conscious that uh, the images on your screen are actually one after the other very, very quickly, so, so many frames a minute, to try and give you the illusion of movement, even though it is one frame after another. My voice that you are hearing right now is actually a series of vibrations uh, into, coming from a speaker, vibrating the air, hitting your eardrum, uh, going up via the nerves into your brain and being interpreted by your brain for pitch, tone, frequency, and uh, pattern. You didn't really think about that much, did you? Yet now as I'm speaking, you are more conscious of the speech patterns that I am using and the sound that I am using and the inflections and the tones and other various combinations of factors. What you have just experienced if you hadn't really been thinking about that before, is your consciousness slightly expanding. And this is something that uh, I think everybody really needs to think about. When you have understanding of the greater depths of consciousness, of understanding of things, potentially on a social level, you have a devastating power. You have the power not just to make people apathetic. We've had that. That you can do with sodium fluoride in the drinking water, uh, as the Russians found out in their gulags. Uh, and it didn't improve the people's teeth, I might add. No, my bitter rant aside, what you have is a weapon of mass peace. Not to control minds or to force people to think about certain things. Uh, which is why a lot of people got into atheism, because they were tired of being told answers, even though they didn't, f uh, and then told to ignore information that uh, brought up questions that were not covered by the answers in the slightest, or at least not the way they were taught. You have a weapon of mass enlightenment, where people stop going to war not because they've lost the will to fight, or because they don't remember how, they don't have any reason to fight. They understand you so well that they can deal with you in a peaceful way. That. Imagine another nation trying to attack yours. Imagine that they've got weapons systems and they've got people ready to command it. And then imagine that the generals refuse to give the orders and the soldiers refuse to accept those orders even if they were given and imagine that all of the people making all the weapons stopped doing that and they just sat down and, and said you know what let's just go the, back to the drawing board let's do it over I think we've missed a whole bunch of things we need to redesign everything we'll go back to the drawing board and we'll start again Imagine every time someone went to attack you, they just stopped and said, you know, I could mug you, you look like you're having a nice night, and that would really be a bring down for me in the long term. Yeah, you know what, forget it, have a nice night. Hey, you want to buy a knife? You know, what I'm saying is, consciousness is a case of your mind expanding, and some would argue your heart expanding, though that's really not a good way of saying it. I know for a fact that there could be a quantum reason for it, some scientific larger uh, source field as uh, David Wilcox and Greg Braden have been talking about. I know for a fact that our pineal gland, named after the pine cone that it looks like, in the center of our brain, not only releases melatonin, yet has some fascinating uh, interactions with dimethyltryptamine, which is something that is most in most of our food and most of the plants around us, yet yeah, it actually breaks down uh, fairly easily in our gut. So, 
these chemicals uh, can ex can be explained to be triggering effects on your pineal gland, uh, which could be a crystal receiver and transmitter, given that it does have fluid in there and it does have certain crystals in there. That's in there. Look it up. So I'm going to stuff stuff the link, uh, link section with a lot of stuff. Uh, there's much more out there if you want to look it up. And just remember, if you want to wage p violently effective peace on people, expand their consciousness. That's where the Black Power Movement, Women's Empowerment Movement, any empowerment movement that everyone that got to the point of saying, we need to expand people's consciousness and awareness of certain things, and we need to get them to understand themselves better. The minute they said that, understand ourselves, that's when it, uh, the provocateur showed up. That's when it got taken down. Because our world is just starting to realize, it's starting to connect that consciousness with yourself and your experience. Remember, this YouTube video is not playing out in a vacuum. You chose it. You wanted to watch it. You were interested in this topic or you wanted to see one of my videos. Why, I don't know. However, my consciousness will someday expand into that strange, odd area. And when it does, I will connect with you more fully than I did before. And right now, we're seeing a system break down with Occupy Wall Street and a few other things, uh, and even the efforts of my friends in the truth community, because we're starting to see that it's toxic and it doesn't communicate and it doesn't respect our consciousness. It keeps trying to stop us from looking at the bigger questions, which are getting harder and harder to ignore. And it's getting more and more painful to try and go on with the system. And we're becoming conscious of that. Anyway, science is starting to catch up to what your heart already knows and possibly might be coming in via your pineal gland. So there's a lot of information out there. It'll all be in the description box. The Bad Cop 69, it took me God knows how many takes to get it. I've really got to get some sleep because I've got some stuff going on tomorrow. You have a good one, mate.